Hey guys, um, welcome back to another video. Um, if you are a original fan of my channel, you would have seen my first video of me blowing up a balloon with a chemical reaction. It's not like a chemical reaction that you're thinking about. It's not like the whole explosion type. Um, but it's a small... A chemical reaction that we're all pretty familiar with and it's a baking soda and a vinegar chemical reaction all right so for today's video you're going to take a little spoon get some of your baking soda dump it into your little bottle that you need um, then you need a little funnel then you need to attach your balloon that you're going to need onto your funnel. Then get prepared for a vinegar smell fest. Um, then hold your uh, balloon and funnel on. Pour a little bit of your vinegar. And now... Your balloon has a little bit of liquid in. Seal up your container so it doesn't smell up your whole house. Uh, Cause that's always fun, right? Right? It's always fun. Yeah, I see that one person in the corner said, "Yeah, that's really fun." Oh, I like that smell. Hey. <sighs> All right. Now, take your balloon. Flip it over, and watch it expand. Now, if you guys know, uh, when you blow out uh, your air, it's a thing called carbon dioxide. This makes carbon dioxide. So, that's what's blowing up this balloon. So basically, you have an automatic balloon uh, filler. Yeah. A uh, quick, short, and inexpensive experiment. Uh, you probably have some of these things lying around in your house. So, you can do it however you want. Um, just make sure your balloon is on really tight. Then... You have your own self-inflating balloon. Alright, thanks for joining me for this video. I know it's a little short, but it's a good idea to know your basics. Alright? See you guys.